Uh, one last story that I, that I really, this really hit home for me. Um, 11 vets contacted you. They were living outside in Hesperia, California. Tell us. Yes, there, a local veteran in the area had befriended them and was building a rapport, taking them food as he could. And some of those veterans had said, "We, you know, we're ready. We're, we're ready for a second chance at life. But they didn't know how to do it. So this veteran has followed me on Code of Vets and saw the work that we were doing. And he said, Gretchen, I've got these veterans who are cold. Um, they're hungry. They're living outside in a washed out, dried up riverbed. And um, he said, I, you know, I can only do so much. What can we do? So again, I immediately jumped on it and I live streamed and I asked people throughout the nation to please send care packages, coats. Um, and we, we created that wish list. And I'll tell you what, the nation responded within a matter of minutes. That wish list was fulfilled. Not only was it fulfilled, but they uh, people went above and beyond since sleeping bags, blankets, coats. Um, Alana Stewart, the actress, saw the live stream and she contacted a friend of hers who owns a a clothing company, Brian Hogan, and he sent out boxes of clothes that were their sizes. He actually called the veteran and said, hey, what are their sizes? It was a beautiful effort, and it's actually the story's evolving. Uh, we are working with the VA, local and at the executive level in D.C., to get these veterans off the street. There, there's going to be a Christmas meal tomorrow, and the homeless program staff of the local VA there will be meeting with these um, veterans there, and they're going to start the process of getting them off the streets. Eric, I'm telling you what, we, we need uh, the light to be shone as bright as possibly on these veterans. They do not deserve to be out on the streets. They've served our country. They put that uniform on for us, and we, we all took that oath in my community. And darn it, I'm going to stand up and speak for them. When they don't have a voice, I'm going to be their voice. I'm right. excited about this. So Gretchen Smith, CodeOfVets.com. Hey, listen, folks, you want to help, you need to help. Dig deep. Go there, make a contribution, do what you have to do, stay involved, spread the word. I'll tell you what I'll, I will do. I'll do two things for you, Gretchen. Number one, I met with the Secretary of Veterans Affairs. He gave me his personal cell number. I'm going to make a call to him to make sure he's aware of your program and anything you need to do. Maybe I can hook you up with him, a phone call, Thank because you. that Thank will you. help. That's number one. Yes. Number two, I'm going to put this out to... I have about 2 million social media followers between Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and others. I will get that out, and I will get the word out and make sure that other people get, get this, uh, uh, understand exactly what need is being not fulfilled. We have to fulfill that. I'll also send it out to some of my broadcast you, partners Eric. as well. Gretchen Smith, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Eric.